Hey everyone, Dino Green here, and today we're going to react to the second video of Henshin Squad Jam Rangers, uh, track two. <laughs> so I'm really hoping of watching this, like I said in the previous video, and I hope you enjoy. Let's begin in three, two, one, go. We're not gonna let you two get away with. Yeah. Uh. I love these villains. They're always making me laugh. I wouldn't have thought you were funny, but you're quite hilarious. You're cute even. They're mocking us. It's like they're not even trying at all. We have to stay focused. <laughs> Any uneasy thoughts could give them more of an advantage. Katie's right, you guys. Okay, no more playing around. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. They had a theme now after this, so Yeah. All right, I actually see. Oh, I was surprised she could even stop her screaming. Oh, yeah, go get her, red. I almost said blue. Ooh. Ah. I'm with you, dude. I uh, had that experience with a villain once. It Jammers hurt. Think this is some kind of game. Let me show you some real life consequences. Oh no. No! Yellow! What the heck did they take? That's what I meant by like they had to switch what actors. But it still looks sick. I feel different. Don't worry, Armano. I'm sure Maestro can help us with this. No, no, you don't understand. It's in my knee. It's like I never had the injury at all. I feel lighter too. Cool. Oh, she was trying to corrupt my noise. I. I tried something I read in a comic once. Something about vibrating really fast. I mean, it didn't work the way I expected, but... I don't know, man. I feel great. Well, I guess... Woo! I guess if you're all right. Yeah, you should. Hey, at least your leg is repaired, dude. How about next time? Okay, Anybody takes a while to heal when I have all the fighting. Before a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to my show. I know how to fix this. Blue and red always fighting. Yeah, I'd rather follow my What happened to the shop? What happened to the music shop? <laughs> Back so early. Please don't mind the mess. I was hoping to have this place a little bit more tidied up than upon y'all's arrival. This place looks completely different. What happened? I even still work here? Paul, don't worry. You're still employed at my job. I just want to make a few upgrades, if you will. That way it's a little less conspicuous to the outside world. Y'all's return so soon, I take it they mentioned it, you know, so... I have been afraid. No, <laughs> Maestro. You came back early because you got the best of us. Semestra said something about corrupting Freddy's noise, and this passage... Yeah, I think I vibrated my sound instead. Anyway, I feel great. Maestro, isn't there something we can do to get stronger? Maybe so something like this doesn't happen again? Yeah, like a power boost or an upgrade. Like the way you upgraded this place. Well, now that you mentioned it, there is something. Well, that's the first bit of good news I've heard all day. What is it? Training. Training? Training? No way. Training. Oh, can you just like supercharge us or something? Look, Freddy, I wish it was that easy. Haven't you noticed the speed of your pitches increased a little bit? Your, 
for the lack of a better term, your form has changed drastically. It's a lot of things you're gonna have to adapt to. But not just him, you all have music in your hearts. They just need a little bit of growth, if you will. And there are ways to achieve that, like, <clears throat> if you will, increasing the volume. So I don't keep the bad guys, does this mean Cage is a scream louder? Mom! <laughs> so rude! Just a joke. <laughs> Maestro, what do you mean? Katie, so glad you asked. Let's take this group for example. Paul, you and your hasten healing. Lindsay, you and your ultra strength. Lewis, you and your ironclad and vulnerability. And Katie, you and your supersonic pitch. Last but not least, Freddie and your supersonic speed. Not just that, though, y'all's powers can evolve to something else a bit more. Take Freddy, for example, in his new form. Deep inside, y'all have the ability to go and summon up your tongue into a more physical form. Whoa, like a weapon? Not quite a weapon, more like a <clears throat> instrument. I'm sure with the proper training, y'all each can summon it up. So not only physical training, but also inner spiritual training? You're a smart cookie. That's exactly right. Paul, tell me to close up the shop. ITI is going to be out the rest of the day. Sure thing, boss. The rest of you, meet in the park in about 20 minutes. Sweet. This gives you enough time. Yeah, to training. Let's see how much this new stomach can handle. 20 minutes. <laughs> Uh, there's an ad. Give me a minute. One, two, three. I don't hear anything. A faint noise. It's a very powerful instrument. Radiating with so much potential, it must be corrupted. <laughs> I love the other one. Just like, ah, uh, like let's take a break. <laughs> Do with this instrument. Help me infuse my energy with the noise I stole to help corrupt the sound of this thing. Yes, ma'am. It's time, sister. Let us summon a super dead note. A sweet fire sword. Oh, snap.
The monster got an upgrade. All right, training time. Alright, time for blue and red. Dang. Door barely versus healing. Ability. I, I don't know, I forgot how I set up. Whoa! Where was he? Yikes! I'm not even gonna question it either. You're up next, you muckle. The morphing scene. Another ad. One minute. Dude, the morphing sequence is good, man. What? 
guess you're not in sync after all, Jammagers. Nice. Guys, that was our strongest attack. What do we do? What should we do? Stay and fight. We're going to have to retreat. We can't keep running away. Louis, think about the team. We're all too beat for this. At this rate, none of us will make it. Our best chance <sighs> is to head back to Maestro and try to summon our instruments. You know I wouldn't back down either, but she's right, Bill. <sighs> Fine. Let's get out of here. Guys. Maestro! Get him. Yo, this monster is crazy strong. All right, it has a sword thing going on, and then it caught and reflected the... We can't do this without our instruments. Well, I guess I don't have to open the shop today. Let's all head back to the farm. As stated previously, you all have it deep inside you. You just need to cut out, filter the noise, and focus on your unique sounds. Only then will you be able to physically manifest your instruments. So what are we supposed to be doing exactly? Because standing here with my eyes closed is just giving me flashbacks to our beating. Right, Maestro. I'm not really feeling anything. There's got to be a quicker way. Uh, I've got nothing. Whoa. Evie's doing it. I mean, she does have the most discipline out of all of us. That is freakishly cool. Wow. She's... That's amazing. Okay. Hey, Katie, how did you do that? Maestro is right. The music is inside all of us. At first, I was thinking about what made me happy. And I thought of the time when I learned my first song on the flute. Louis, remember when you got into that music conservatory? Lindsay, you're always learning how to play new songs on the harp. Freddie, you may have missed out on football, but you found the drums. And Paul, you're always happy working in the music shop. Think back to when we defeated that first super dead note. Done, Katie. With that kind of clarity and insight, y'all guys sound like you're about ready for your encore and head back to the park. All right, guys, let's go. <laughs> so you want an encore? We're here to upstage you. Let's do it. Yeah. The dynamic musician, Jam in Red. The strong musician, Jam in Green. The smooth. Jammin' Blue! The loud musician, Jammin' Pink! The upbeat musician, Jammin' Yellow! When, when we, we harmonize, we rock. rock! Yes, the theme! Dead note infused with a powerful instrument isn't enough to defeat these scavengers? Oh, wait a second. Huh? Can't leave this line around. Yep. Perhaps it's time we change our form of attack. What do you have in mind? It's time to introduce.
contracts. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a thing. see this part oh well that was gem ranger track two um there is no track three or other of that they are making a movie though so i'm really hoping of seeing that if my camera can work on that day <laughs> but i will be reviewing something else by the video itself it was really good i did like how how there were certain updates or like upgrades of the original video because back then it was a little different but this I see some different for one there are certain shots that when, when the actors are moving the camera moves with them there's no really a specific cut and I also like it how there are um, some scenes that involves like certain things like how like you had to like how do I say this it's more of like you had to enjoy what you can think of. Like remember the good times and then and then you can pull through whatever you're doing. And I really did like that. I really liked everything about this. I also like the cool weapon that Pink has. I did see the other weapons in Instagram of the Henshin Squad, but I legit want like I want to see the other weapons in action. Um, another thing I would like to say, I love how, like, the characters are still in character and all that stuff. I like the upgrade, and I still love it, the rival between blue and red. It's really funny, and I really like it. So, I, I will be giving this a, a, I do 10 out of 10, but this one I'll go for a 9 and a half 10. Because it's good as the first but better enough but it still has some like some problems but that's not me to discuss but still I still like it how they did everything the musics are still good how they bring in the characters and all that stuff so yeah I really hope of uh, reviewing um, another video but this one I've been wanting to watch it just that it depends if I'm worthy. Power Rangers unworthy. Tell me like a hell cut.